The State Health Department and Intermountain Healthcare are working together to fight pain medication abuse. 11 News reporter Juliana Collado met with an expert on the campaign. So Juliana, what exactly is this partnership all about? Katie, many Utahns have leftover prescription medicine in their houses, which could lead to misuse, abuse, or theft. I got to meet one woman who experienced just how damaging pain built abuse can be. Nursery. John Petri is a research professor at BYU focused on helping people understand how the human brain works, including addiction. Her motivation comes from her own experience, since one of her children died from a drug overdose. His um, heroin addiction had not started out that way. It actually was uh, an opiate pain pill uh, prescribed, legally prescribed. Petri Son is one of the many Utahns who die of prescription drug abuse, a trend that is rising more each year. The state says Utah has a high percentage of deaths from prescription medicine, even higher than a car accident related deaths. The state is turning to its largest healthcare system for help. Janet Frank works in the Public Relations Department and Intermountain Healthcare and is working hard to get Utah off that list. They are partnering with the Utah Health Department on a campaign called Use Only as Directed. It focuses on teaching and creating awareness of the growing trend to prevent more deaths. We felt it was very important to partner with the health department so that more people can hear that message and understand the guidelines for disposing of medication. A part of the awareness movement includes having continuous for the disposal of unused medication in certain pharmacies. One of the things Joanne recommended from her personal experience is to be very careful with prescription medication. Authorities also encourage us to become more aware of this new trend and help them fight it. Live in the newsroom, Juliana Colado, 11 News. So what exactly can people at home do to start right now? Well, you can get all the medicine you don't use anymore and drop them off in those containers I mentioned. I put a link on the website at 11news.byu.edu to help you locate your nearest drop-off point. Thank you, Juliana.